What's up, everybody? Um, good evening, everybody. Hopefully, everybody having a good night, had a good week, um, getting ready for the weekend. This is um, it's a sad day today and yesterday um, for the family of an 18-year-old child. Um, her name is Erin Schweikart. She was from South Philly. She was 18 years old, and um, she went missing in September. Um, beautiful young lady, 18 years old. That's that's crazy, the circumstances. Um, I have been in communication with members of her family, um, and they asked me to, to share her picture on my posts, you know, on my page and stuff like that, and I have in the past. Um, over the past couple months, I've seen flyers of her up in Kensington and, um, it was sad each, each time that I seen them, you know, she, she's a child, she's 18 years old. Um, they found her Thursday evening in a house in South Philly. She was in a basement. Um, her body was stuffed inside like a tote, plastic container, and it was decomposing. There was five people that were in the home at the time, um, and they went to that house on a tip of uh, like human trafficking. So they went there to serve a warrant. Um, one of the people, uh, I guess, had a warrant out for a robbery offense. So they went to that house, um, served the warrant, but they'd also received tips of human trafficking. Um, something to do with human trafficking and that address. So they went to the address, which is in uh, South Philly, and in the basement, they found this 18-year-old child. Um, extremely, extremely sad situation. I couldn't imagine what her family's going through right now, her mother, her father, her siblings, uh, the rest of her family. I couldn't imagine. It was... Um, the Garden Estates section of South Philly. Um, I'm gonna read off the um, the news ad, you know, the, the newspaper article, and it's it's extremely sad. All right, so a decomposing body discovered by police in South Philadelphia basement on Thursday is that of a reported teen missing. The Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office identified the remains as belonging to 18-year-old Erin Schweikart, police said Friday. She was reported missing from her home along the 2300 block of South Lee Street in October. She was last seen September 27th of 2018. Schweikart's remains were found in a basement of a home along the 2100 block of Porter Street in the Girard Estates neighborhood. Sheriff's officers were serving a robbery warrant when they made the discovery. Um, the team's body was placed inside a plastic container. Pol police described it as badly decomposed and producing an overwhelming smell. The medical examiner said there were no obvious signs of trauma. Um, they have not determined the cause of death either. And uh, five people were taken into, question, into custody for questioning. At least one person was arrested on the search warrant. Uh, they said the, the investigation is ongoing. Um, this is extremely sad, man. Imagine the animal that it takes to do something like that to an 18-year-old child. And then for those people to be in that home and not feel disturbed, not feel the need, the immediate need to call the police or somebody, um, you know, because maybe those people didn't even know that there was a body in that basement, but they said it was producing an overwhelming smell. Um, so they had to, to know something was up, you know, and um, it, it's extremely sad. I hope whoever was responsible for this, uh, you know, I hope they they um, they get them because that could be somebody else's daughter. And a lot of people don't think it's, you know, we don't think it's our problem until it's our problem. I say that a lot. You guys know that. Um, 
you know, it, it's never our problem until God forbid next, it's our daughter or our sister or something like that. And it's his, this hits extremely close to home for me because my sister being out in those streets. Um, you know, I remember when I was in prison and they had the Kensington Strangler was going around. It was a serial killer who was going around Kensington uh, killing women. He was strangling them and he killed, he, he killed a few women. Um, I'm going to find out how many he uh, killed right now, the exact number. Um, but I know when he pleaded out, he, he only pleaded out to uh, like two victims. All right, so they're saying here, I just Googled it, the Kensington Strangler, his name was Antonio Rodriguez. I'll put a picture of him up right here. Um, they said he was believed to have murdered Elaine Goldberg, 21, Nicole Pacientini, 35, and Casey Mahoney, 27, between November and uh, December of 2010. So my daughter, I mean, my sister was out in the streets in Kensington at that time, getting high and living in the streets. And I remember that I had to prepare myself that uh, I'd get that call one day and it was her. You know, they found her um, next. And um, because of that, this story hits close to home for me. It's it's sad, man. It's so sad. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go in depth with the, um, the Kensington Strangler. And uh, I can give you guys a background of him and his story and what all happened. But listen, and, and I want to make this very clear that um, I'm just putting this news out there because uh, on this channel, I'm choosing to make a video because number one, because it's extremely sad. Number two, because their family had been in contact with me. Her family had been in contact with me. Um, I'm not saying at all that this woman was had struggled with addiction because I don't know that personally. You know, I don't know anything like that. I just know um, what I was told from her family members and who reached out to me. So I just ask you guys to please um, keep that family in prayer, man. They're going through a lot. Anybody has lost somebody knows a little bit of what they're going through. And especially in this manner, this is extremely um, horrible and sad way for your family member to go. So if you guys can, if you pray, please pray. And um, pray they found peace and they find justice, they get justice. It's sad. It's a very sad situation. <clears throat> this is the reality also that is going on in Philadelphia. There's a lot of women that go missing. There's a lot of women they find dead and it's not a big deal in Philly for some reason, especially if they're found in Kensington. It's not a big deal. Um, it's, it's sad. So this is, this is part of the reason why I do what I do. Um, I don't, ever want, you know, want any family member to get that call. Imagine how horrible that has to be. Maybe they felt a sense of peace because at least they're at peace knowing um, what happened, but now it starts the grieving process. That's going to last forever, forever. That's never going to go away. That pain is never going to go away. Um, so this is why a couple video goes, a videos ago on Christmas day, when I went and did what I did for Shahada, this is part of the reason why. God forbid, if Shahada would have reached out for help and I would have known when, and then I would have read something like this. Um, I wouldn't have been able to live with, my, live with myself. You know, so it's sad. So I just ask you guys to pray for her, pray for her family, pray that she finds justice, and um, pray for everybody else that's out there missing. There's so many young ladies in Kensington that go down there and um, end up missing and fall victim and pray to those people out there that are involved in the human, in the human trafficking business. Um, it's extremely profitable. 
The cops don't pay attention when you call them and tell them, you know, my daughter's missing, my son, my husband, my wife. And as soon as you say Kensington and there's a drug problem, they're not paying attention. You know, that just went to the bottom of the priority list. And it's a shame. Um, it's an extreme shame. So once again, keep them in prayer, the whole family, um, you know, and, and everybody appreciate your loved ones a little bit more. If your daughter's home, if your son's home, uh, go give them a hug and a kiss. This, this family right here will never get that opportunity again to do that, you know. So just, just give your kids a kiss. Tell them you love them. Um, I'm not sure you know, I understand. Excuse me, that was Siri. Um, but, you know, let them know you care about them. And um, I thank you guys. This is a somber video. It's the reality of what goes on. Um, you know, and a lot of people might watch this video and be like, damn, that's what happens in Philly. That's what happens in Kensington. That's what happens in the world. Just because it's not your city this time doesn't mean it won't be next time. You know, thank you.